Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be reading Popo's Lucky Chinese New Year. Three more days till Chinese New Year. Let's start reading Popo's Lucky Chinese New Year. Popo's Lucky Chinese New Year. Popo's Lucky Chinese New Year. Written by Virginia Lohagen and illustrated by Renee Benoit. Chinese New Year is like Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Day all bundled together. Popo came all the way from China to celebrate with us in America. She says Chinese New Year is a time for new beginnings. Making sure we have a lucky new year is serious business. Popo is here to help you. People spend 15 days preparing and then 15 days celebrating Chinese New Year. Swish, swish. Popo says I need to sweep out the bad luck before the new year comes. I sweep the dirt toward the middle. I carry it out the back door. I also sweep out my crying baby brother. Popo says I'm naughty, so I sweep him back and rub his big Buddha belly. Do not carry dirt out the front door because that means a family member will leave. We don't want that. Spray, spray. I make sure my window is super clean. Popo says the windows need to be spotless. Good fortune needs to flow in. I'll finish tomorrow. Popo says you can't clean on New Year's Day. You wipe out good luck. Popo has a lot of funny rules about luck. I want to be lucky, but following her do's and don'ts is hard work. Do open the windows and doors at midnight to allow the old year to leave. Drip drop. Popo gets my bath ready. She reminds me to wash my hair. I'll wash it tomorrow, Popo says. Your good luck will wash down the drain along with the soapy water. I want the good luck. I wash my hair three times. Popo tells me to finish washing my baby brother's hair, but I only wash him one time. I also don't use as much shampoo for him. I'm older, so I need more luck. Do not wash your hair on New Year's Day. Do cook and eat lucky foods. Sizzle, sizzle, Popo makes a whole chicken so that our family will stay together. She prepares a fish with the head and tail still on, so we'll have a good beginning and a good ending. It'll also help make our wishes come true. I cross my fingers. This adds extra American luck. The last dish Popo makes is noodles. I want to break my noodles in half. Popo says noodles should be long and unbroken like life. I eat two bowls of my long noodles. I eat my baby brother's noodles too. I want to live forever. Do hang red and gold banners and paper cuts to ensure a flow of good luck and invite in good spirits. Snip, snip. Red paper and gold ribbons surround me. I'm busy making and pasting Chinese paper cuts. Popo brought a special sign from Chinatown that says, Fu is the Chinese word for luck. She puts this on our door. She says, I'm going to hang this upside down. The Chinese word for upside down sound like arrive. So this means luck has arrived. Sip, sip. I drink green tea so I can stay awake past midnight. No sleeping for me. Popo says I have to welcome the new year. The sound of the word sleep in Chinese is like the word for trouble. We don't want any trouble in the new year. We don't want it, don't we? I watch Popo and Mama play macho with friends. Click, click. The little blocks move quickly. Even my baby brother stays up. Do not sleep on New Year's Eve. Your parents will live longer lives. It's finally here! It's Chinese New Year's Day! Gong Hei Fak Choi! Happy Chinese New Year! I make a ruckus running around the house. Popo says the first person you meet today and the first words you hear are important to your fortune in the new year. I want 
to be the first person my baby brother sees today. I whisper in his ear, foo, and he coos, foo, back. Do not greet people in their bedrooms. It's unlucky. I bring him to the living room where Popo makes food offerings to our ancestors. On Chinese New Year's Day, Popo says I can't say any bad words or think bad things. I push bad thoughts out of my head, but it's really hard work, especially when my baby brother is around. I do not call him bad names, even when he pulls my hair. This is the hardest rule to follow. Do not cut away your good thoughts. Do not use knives or scissors on this day. Do wear red. It scares away bad spirits and monsters. I wear my new red chong sam. My baby brother wears his new red chang shan. Popo says, these are traditional Chinese clothes. She says, children should have new clothes and new shoes for the new year. She also says we should wear red. Red will keep bad luck away. It's the color of fire. Popo strings red ribbons in my braids. She puts a red Chinese hat on my baby brother. I wear his hat when Popo isn't looking. I fill a small plate with four almond cookies. Popo adds four more. Four is unlucky, but eight is lucky. She counts everything. She adds or subtracts to avoid the number four. My baby brother has four teeth. I draw an extra tooth for him and tape it to his mouth. Popo says evil spirits will make an exception for baby teeth. I tape it to his diaper just in case. Do not use the number four. In Chinese language, the character for four sounds like the character for death. Do make loud noises. The firecrackers, the dragon dances, and gongs scare away the evil spirits. Pow! Pow! I throw tiny firecracking snaps in front of our doorstep to keep out the evil spirits. Pow! Pow! At the parade in Chinatown, I help the dragons chase away the evil spirits. I throw the loud snaps at their feet. Popo says only big girls can do this. My baby brother has to wait till he's older. I throw extra snaps for him. Dolce, thank you. Popo and I hand out oranges to family and friends. We're giving them happiness and wealth. I eat a couple because I want to be happy and rich. I eat more because I want to be super happy and super rich. Popo tells me to give oranges to Mama and Baba. I use my brand new red marker to write them a card. Popo almost has a heart attack. No red ink! I thought red was lucky. Popo says, writing in red ink means you want that person to go away. I think about writing a card to my baby brother in red ink. He spilled his lunch all over my chung sum. I take it back, no bad thoughts. Do keep the leaves and stems on fruits and give those to married people. It means they will have a long marriage. Cha-ching! My favorite part of Chinese New Year is getting the Lai Si. These are lucky red envelopes. Popo says Mama and Papa have to give Lai Si to little children, unmarried family members, and their own parents. Lai Si have crisp brand new dollar bills inside. I'm glad I'm not a grown up because I don't have to give away any Lai Si. From all my relatives, I have a mountain of red envelopes. Popo says I have to put them under my pillow so I won't have bad dreams. Do give children two lice because Popo says happiness comes in pairs. Yawn! <sighs> Finally, the house is quiet. A lucky new year is hard work. I put two red envelopes next to my baby brother's head. I whisper to him, you're lucky to have me. The end. Making sure 
we have a lucky Chinese New Year is serious business. Popo is here to help me. Bye everyone. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and see you tomorrow. Bye.